Hello everyone! This is not my normal video. I'm doing something a little bit different today. But first, I want to warn you. You might hear some dog whining in the background throughout this video. And I just want you to know that it's my dog, Rogue. Do you want us to come say hi, Ro? I'm going to let him say hi for just one second. Come here. Here's Ro. And he really wants to be outside with my son Tate right now. He's moving wood. Okay, good boy, good boy. Okay, go away now. Um, but he can't be outside because he'll the gate's open and he'll run away. Any Hoosier. If you hear some dog whining, he's just fine. He's just sad. So, why am I making this video? What, what is this video about? Well, let me tell you. We are back from school after what I hope is a wonderful Christmas break for everyone. I hope you got to relax. I hope you got to rest. I, got, I hope you got to have a lot of fun. And we may have let some things slip out of our heads. Expectations for what school should look like right now. It's so different, but there are still some rules, some expectations. So I'm here to help you remember what those are and set you up for a fantastic 2021. Rogue was just whining. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you to Miss Brittany. Yep. I'm not Miss Brittany anymore. I am teacher Miss Brittany. So, oh, I got some lipstick on my mug, but that's okay. So, let's get started. You're gonna need a piece of paper, a pencil, and some markers or crayons or colored pencils. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go into this knowing that you do not have to finish it with all the colors right now. We are making what is called, one of my favorite things, an anchor chart. An anchor chart is something that helps you remember important information. I've been making lots of anchor charts this year and I have found them to be so helpful. Now this video I'm making is gonna be set up so your teacher, do you hear him? Your teacher can pause the video and make sure that everyone gets caught up if anyone slips behind or needs a little bit of extra time. My video can't go on for hours and hours and hours, so I gotta cut it down so you guys can take it at your own pace. Teachers, are you with me? Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so if you'd like to give your students a moment to gather their supplies, paper, a pencil, and some coloring items, color crayons, colored pencils, or markers. Pause the video now. Okay, so hopefully you all have your supplies, which are what? Paper, pencil, and some sort of things to color with. Now, I want you to look at your paper, and we are going to make kind of a chart, kind of a chart. Now, I'm gonna move my camera a little bit closer so I'm not taking up the screen, but my anchor chart is. So let's just move you forward, make sure not to, not to spill my cup. Okay, how does that look, you guys? Does that look good? So, step number one. You're gonna draw these lines on your paper. You're gonna draw a big line across, and then you are gonna make three columns out of your whole paper. And you're gonna do that by drawing three, or I'm sorry, by drawing two lines. So you should have a piece of paper that looks like this without any writing on it yet. Lines across, I, let's see, I did one, two, three, four, five. So on each column, I have one, two, three, four, and then a big space underneath. So teachers, if you'd like to pause your video now, I'll keep the picture here and I'll step out and you can pause the video and everyone can get caught up. Remember, we're not writing words up yet. Only the lines, we're only setting up our chart. So teachers, if you'd like to pause, go ahead. I'm back. <laughs> You guys, this is the first video I've ever made like this and it's 
it's, it's real fun. So next, we're gonna write the words. In the first column, you can do this in pencil or you can, or you can do it right away in a color. It's completely up to you. You're gonna write, be safe. Now I want you to think, these might be a little familiar to you. These words we're gonna write up top. If you're already caught on, you're real smart, good job. If you're in kinder or if you're new to page or if it's just slipped your mind, here it is. Really important words to page school. Be safe. The next column in red is going to be be respectful. And the third column is going to say be responsible. So teachers, if you would like to pause for just a moment so you can make sure all of your kids write down um, the three Bs, I went ahead and used house colors, if you guys notice. My lines are in black, be safe is in green, be respectful is in red, and be responsible is responsible is in blue. So go ahead and pause. I'm back. Okay, you guys, so by now you should have your paper looking pretty similar to mine. You can use whatever colors you want. You can do this all in pencil and color it in later. It's completely up to you. So be safe. We've got one, two, three, four, We've got some spots to fill in. Now, normally, being safe means that you're safe with your bodies, you're safe with your words, you're safe in your classroom with your materials, you're safe on the playground, you're safe in the cafeteria. Well, a lot of those things we're not having right now because we're not in school. So, for online school, what we're doing right now, there are some different things that we need to think about when we think be safe. So let's write some of them down so we can remember. So the first thing I have as a thing that you can do to be safe is take care of your devices. Let me just zoom in for just a second. Whoa. Take care of your devices. Now if you'll look, drinks, are crossed out. Snack, crossed out, shouldn't have it by your computer. Food, any kind of food, crossed that out. Candy, nope, crossed it out. And if we keep all of those things away from your device, your device is gonna stay nice and safe right in this little clean bubble. So I will take a moment if you would like to pause the video so you can look at the first thing that I have on my list to be safe during online school, you can pause now. Okay, I'm back. The next thing that I thought would be really helpful to be safe in online school is, yikesy, my tape is sticking. I guess that's what tape is supposed to do, huh? There we go, it didn't work, it worked. Keeping comments constructive and kind. Now, keeping comments constructive and kind, why is that important online for online school? Well, that's important all the time, isn't it? Keep your comments constructive and kind. But now all of these, None of these are marked out, so let's take a look. You are wrong. Is that constructive and kind? Nope, I'm crossing that out. What about thank you? I think that's constructive and kind, so we're gonna leave it, because it's good. Now what about good idea? I think that's good too, kind, constructive. Now what about I can't do it. Nope, nope, nope. If you know of the virtue perseverant, then you know you can do hard things. What about I'm bored? No way. That's not constructive. 
it's not mean, but it's not really kind either. And then what about here? Please. I think we'll keep that. So if you would like just a moment to pause the video, to write down this second box, I'll leave them both up. You can pause now. Okay, what's our next, what's our next idea of something we can do to be safe in online school? Oh, this is a good one. Check over work before submitting. Check over your work to make sure it's perfect. It's your best work. It's something you're proud of before you submit it. And if you look here, I made a little example. The cat ate mood for dinner. What is mood? Here is what it looks like after you've maybe read over it again. This is the right answer. The cat ate food for dinner. That makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. I will pause the video, give you the opportunity to pause the video. Oops, right now. All right, you guys. So if you'll notice, oh goodness, hope no one's getting seasick. <laughs> if you'll notice, I left some spaces blank right here. And that is so if your teacher chooses to go over some of these things with you, and if you have anything to add, you can add some more items on how to be safe on online school. Okay, let's get let's keep moving. Be respectful. Be respectful. I'll give you a moment to pause. So what are some things that we can do to be respectful during online school? Good boy, Ro. Well, the first thing I have, oops, oh, who can read that? Be on time, be on time. If class starts at 8.40 in the morning and this is what you look like, no good, no bueno, my friends. I am going to cross that out and I will give you a moment to get that drawn. Okay, moving on. What's something else we can do to be respectful? Well, we can have all supplies ready for school. Well, what does that mean? All of my supplies ready for school. You can have your computer charged. You can have your pencil and your markers. You can have your paper. You can have a workbook or a reading book. Any supplies that your teacher tells you that you need for school, you should have them ready to go when class starts. So I will give you the opportunity to pause. All right, what's next? Being respectful at school, how could we do that? We can actively participate. Well, what does actively participate mean? Well, you can raise your hand. You can answer questions that your teacher asks, or you can ask questions that your teacher puts out there. Those are all ways that you can actively participate in your class. Go ahead and pause it here. Okay, and let's see what else we have. I think this column has one more. Yes, it does. Oh, this is a good one too. To be respectful in school, please keep your camera on. Keep your camera on. If you have your camera on, oops, Rogue. If you have your camera on, your teacher is very happy. And that's why their heart is just so big. So I will give you the opportunity to pause. Now, if you'll notice, my, my respectful category has one more 
then be safe. But there are still two blank spaces. So if you and your class would like to write down some other ideas on how you can be respectful, that is totally, totally fine. And I left you space to do that. Now. <laughs> our, our third, our third column. Be responsible. Being responsible. Now, I know being responsible when we're in school looks like walking in the hallways. It looks like picking up something you see on the floor um, in the hallway. It means being responsible, going to where you're supposed to be right away, standing in the lunch line quietly. Now, those, are no, those aren't any things that we need to do right now but there are ways that we can still be responsible even though we're having school online. So let's check them out. How's everyone doing? We've only got one column left, you guys. You're doing great. Okay, so being responsible looks like go to class every day. Go to class every day. When? And look here, do you know how happy your teachers will be if they have 100% attendance? This is how happy, this is how happy they'll be. I did little stars all over. 100% attendance, that's how happy they would be. I'll go ahead and pause it here. Great job, you guys. Our chart is looking so good. The next thing we can do to be responsible is Ooh. turn your work in on time. Oops, I ripped my paper. Turn your work in on time. If your teacher says due date is Friday and you say, I turned in my work on Sunday, well, that's not on time. That's not on time. You need to try and turn your work in on its due date, on time. And you know, that's going to help teach you responsibility. It's gonna help teach you time management, how you choose how much time is spent on a task or on many tasks, and it's just gonna make your teachers work so much easier, and it's gonna make them so happy. Doing your work on time. What's something else we can do to be responsible? Oh, and I think this is the last thing, you guys. This is a really important one. Ask for help. There's so much online school things that are different than what we're used to. And there's a lot of stuff that can be confusing. Technology, understanding assignments, understanding what people are saying if your computer is glitching. So if there is ever anything that you need help with, ask questions. That's why your teacher is there. Now, does this mean you raise your hand in the middle of class or interrupt, you unmute and interrupt your teacher if you have a question? No. This means if you're confused or if you have a question for your teacher, I bet your teacher's gonna say, come to my office hours and I'll help you. Or they might say, can you stay after class and I'll answer your question. And when those things happen, you leave being able to say, I get it, thank you, I understand. So, we're gonna go ahead. When we're confused, we don't just let that be it. We go to office hours or we ask our teacher after class so we can understand instead of leaving the day feeling confused. You guys, we did so much work just now. Look at this. Now, like I said, there are empty columns on every single, every single um, be safe, be respectful, or be res and be responsible. These are very important things, and there are so many other things that can be filled in these boxes on ways to be safe, 
respectful, and responsible. So if your teacher would like to go over that with you and maybe add some more, that's an option that you have, and I left that for you. If this is what you have written down, now you can color it. Now you can keep it with you in your workspace. So now whenever you get confused, whenever you forget how to maybe be any of these things, you can look at this anchor chart and it can help remind you of the things you should do. So we did it, you guys. Ooh. You guys, this was my first big time teaching video, big time. I'm really proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself for getting through this video. Rogue is gonna knock over my camera. No, Rogue. And um, I just know this is gonna help you guys. So I miss your faces. I miss our hugs. But I am so proud of everyone for doing such a good job during distant learning. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. It is a new year. It's 2021. And it's gonna be a good one. We're gonna rock it, you guys. All right, have a great day, and I will see you next time for who knows what. But I'll see you later. Bye.